Hello everyone, and welcome to part 3 of our platformer tutorial series, and in this video we're going to be adding collectibles, also known as coins. Let's get right into it. So in the description down below, of course, there's a link to the graphics I used for this coin, and you can just do what we did in episode 1, and drag it on over. And by the way, if you have not seen the previous episodes, there's going to be a card in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Go ahead and click that, check it out, and then come right back to this video. So, go ahead and in this sprite, so what we want to do, we want to essentially make it so that we're able to, when we're editing the level, be able to click and set where we want the coins to be. And then when we play it, it appears there every time. But then as soon as we collect it, we want them to disappear and change our coins by one. And this will allow us to later implement a shop. <coughs> Maybe you should subscribe to um, <coughs> find out when that is uploaded. So. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So what we want to do is add a win key space pressed, because that's the key we're going to be using. You can make that whatever you want, though. Go ahead, and now we need to make some lists and variables. For the lists, go ahead and go coin, coin, ah, coin wise for all sprites. Make sure it's for all sprites. And then coin x's. Then go ahead and do coin levels. And as you guessed, the first two are pretty self-explanatory. They're the X's of all and Y's of all the coins. And then coin level shows what item of each of these lists is on what level, so that it only appears if the level crit's on the correct level. Ugh, I can't talk today. So, let's go ahead and add. And then go ahead and to coin X's. Duplicate that. And then make it coin Y's. Add mouse x and mouse y. Then also, you're going to also want to add another thing, and we need to make sure that it's the level. But how do we do that? Because all we're doing when we change the level, if you go back to player, all we're doing is we're just broadcasting something, and so that the platforms in danger know that we're broadcasting it. So right here, make another variable. For all sprites, level, and then go ahead and here, change level by one. Make sure that that is after the next level marker. And then the top, when green flag clicked, set level to one. So back in the coin sprite, go ahead and add level to coin levels, and then wait until not whatever key you did. I did space, so it's going to be wait until not key space pressed, and that prevents us from just accidentally holding down too long and having to restart everything because it spams them everywhere. And also, I'm so close to reaching 500 subscribers. If you could just hit that subscribe button, that would help me out so much. Okay, so now we have that, and that will generate it. But now we need to actually add the coins. So, when green flag clicked, Now we're going to make another variable, call it letter hash, for this sprite only. That is very important. This also doubles as like a clone number variable. And then forever, repeat until, and this is a loop inside of a loop as I bet you've seen many times if you've watched my videos. Repeat until not, and then inside of that not, go ahead and add an equals. Not item letter hash. Item letter hash of coin levels. Equals level. So what this is doing is this loop will be going on making clones. So let's go ahead and add that and then I'll explain. So go ahead and create clone of myself and then change letter hash by one. So what it's doing is it's just taking, this is where it makes all the clones. And so it's going, it's repeating and it's changing the clone number or letter hash by one each time. And it's reading each time to make sure that 
the number of clone that it's on and is about to make is not going to be for the next level. It makes sure that it's still only making clones that are going to appear for this level. And that prevents us from having coins that are supposed to be in level 2 actually appear in level 1 and then not appear in level 2. Hope that makes sense. If not too bad. <laughs> okay, let's cut that out. Um. So, next up, what we're going to do is add some code for the clones themselves. So, when I start as a clone, what we'll want to do when I start as clone, show, because, well, if I remembered, I doubt I did remember to do that. But, uh, yeah, up here you'll want to, when green is not clone, you want to hide the... Okay, so, go to XY. And this is where we're going to use those other two lists. And I doubt you know this. Well, you probably do if you're good at Scratch. If you've been doing it for a long time. But the reason you see tutorials and you hear them say, make sure it's for this sprite only, is because if it's for all sprites, the clones have the same value. But if it's for this sprite only, it's the clones keep the value. And it doesn't change when it changes for the non-clone. So this is why. So it's able, each clone is able to have its own ID and allows it to do different things based on that ID. So I assume you've been following along with me, but go ahead and go to X item letter hash of coin X's and then go to Y item letter hash of coin Y's. Next up, we're going to want to add another repeat until. So another one of these. Repeat until. And what this is going to do is it's going to repeat until it's either been collected by the player, or the player changed levels and forgot to get the coin. So, what you do for that is an OR condition. And then you can just go ahead and copy this. Because it's the exact same thing, just for a slightly different purpose. Or, touch and player. Because that means that it needs to be collected. So this loop goes on, and it's going to be just changing the costumes, because if you use my graphics, you have these really nice, which I'm pretty proud of that I made, these nice costumes, and it allows us to have a nice turning animation so it looks like the coin is spinning. So, inside of that loop, go ahead and just do next costume, and that adds some very nice ambiance. And then, after that loop, so once that ends, it's either the player's either changed the levels and the coin isn't collected, or the player collected it. So we're going to check what one it was here, with an if block, if touching player, touching player, make a new variable, we're going to call this one coins. Change coins by one. And then if you want, you can add a sound. I won't, just because you guys won't. Oh, I already have it here, so yeah, let's do coin. Um, you won't be able to hear it in my recording, because my recording software is weird and doesn't record that. But, yeah. And really, when I say like and subscribe, I really mean it. It's optional, but it really helps out a lot, and it gives me motivation to continue. And allows more people to see my tutorials. So that is Good. Ready to test it? I bet you are, but not yet. One thing would be fatal if we do not do. We need to go ahead and set coins to zero at the beginning. So now let's test it. So obviously, it nothing will happen right now because there are no coins. But now if you click space while you place them, so something is happening that is causing it to go bonkers and add too many coins. I have no clue what it is. Oh, this is what it is. So, when the key space or whatever key you have is pressed, what you need to make sure to do is if, make a new variable for this sprite only, because this will involve clones, am I a clone? And you'll see this in projects often if you look inside. And this makes it so that when there's a broadcast or a hat block like this, only the parent sprite does it, which means the clones don't do it. But what this is happening, every time this is happening, the clones are multiplying. 
essentially, and each of them are doing it. If am I a clone equals zero, which means it's not a clone. And then when green flag clicked, set am I a clone to zero. But then as soon as I started as a clone, set am I a clone to one. So now that should be working. Go ahead and delete all of all these coins lists. And then let's go ahead and test it now. That's why we always test. So go ahead and press space or whatever key you have, and it'll make the coins. Now you can play. And it collects. I can't reach that one, I put that too high. So make more coins, do that. Probably won't be able to get that one, but and you can experiment and delete as necessary until you find something that works. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. If you could just help me reach that milestone, that would be awesome. And I'll see you next time.